ready to deliver, to speak what they know, to say the truth without keeping anything behind. And grants the Commission also the designing spirit to discern between truth and falsehood. And we continue to pray for the people in this nation, the Gambia, and the diaspora, that you shall grant each and every one of them the power to exercise patience and also to be able to allow the due process to take its proper course. And the end of it all, you being the just judge, will grant each and every one their own due. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much indeed, um, uh, Bishop Podiko. Council, I believe we are continuing again with uh, our um, institutional hearings with a focus on the National Intelligence Agency, NIA. If you are um, continuing with that and uh, you're ready with the witness, please proceed. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, and members of the audience. We are still continuing with the institutional hearing on the NIA. Uh, Mr. Kambi, kindly usher in the witness, please. Thank you. I shall mean a drama. I shall mean a drama. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I'll speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Good morning, Mr. Drame. Welcome to the TRRC. Good morning, sir. Uh, Mr. Drame, I take it that you would want to give your testimony in the English language. Uh, uh, if you do, we would still want to interpose some interpretation in the Mandinka language. But also, if you want to speak in the Mandinka language, you are free to do so. Okay. What do you prefer to speak? In which language do you prefer to speak? Well. Let me try. Let me try. Let try. Me, let me go with English. Wonderful. But nonetheless, allow for interpretation in the Mandinka language. Yeah. Uh, so that those listening at home yeah. uh, may be able to follow the proceedings. Thank you. Uh, we have to exercise a bit of discipline okay. uh, to ensure that our speeches do not overlap so that uh, the interpreters would not have difficulty interpreting what is being said and also for the transcribers to be able to decipher what is being said and to uh, be able to record it uh, accurately. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, Mr. Drame, you've just taken an oath yes, sir. to speak the truth. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Drame, you can answer now. Yes, sir. You may, you, you may cut the sir to, to I, I am not used to that. Sir, you may, sir, sir, you, you sir. may cut the sir and just. Uh, no. All right, thank you. I know you being very courteous, uh, but you may just cut the sir and okay. thank you very much. Okay. Thanks for understanding. Yeah. Uh, it is an offense. Yeah. under the laws of this country to lie under oath. It is also an offense to provide false 
or misleading information to the TRRC. Ni mulu wa tinyalti, tumalamena ye kalota, ye kumasoto balofo, ni mbanku mkanjang. Hani nkabi ifala mkuu kino wanyama, luwa tinyalem, TRRC nyati li mwala jang, kumasoto balofo, jang tumalamena ye kaloke. You have been adversely mentioned as someone who participated in the torture of several individuals. Sio kono jang ito fota jisinya jama ko ida abulata mudo la mialonko tajire ya lati kang tumalamena duko bekiri njero. You have a right not to incriminate yourself. Anikabi nyimuika nyandoldi puru ikane ifandung udia mwenye mfanankono. But you do not have a right to lie to the commission. Do you understand? You are Yes. 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 The first would be your biographical information. We need to know who you are. Hello, Mba. Follow the men. Now, let's hear from the people who are going to be here. Hello, the people who are We would also talk about some incidents. Hello, the people who are going to be here. Hello, the people who are going The first would be uh, the arrest, detention, and torture of several uh, PPP supporters who were arrested at around the American embassy in 1995-96. Follow ba follow la mena wala muta rola menketa mo la mena longo kanuntelem PPP kanuntelem ye muta ye sindi dula kile ye tajire ya sangola mengu kafu me babu kongo 1995. 1995-96. 1995 sangola mavo. And then the arrest of Omar Jata. And then we will have a bill on Omar Jata. And we will have Omar Jata. And his torture. And all the tajiri ya men lata kang. Omar Jata was arrested for attending a naming ceremony in Bakote. Omar Jata. Omar Jata ya muda men na wale mnyitu ku atata maabe kuliyo dola mea longko aketa nung Bakote. And uh, it was believed that uh, he and other PPP supporters close to uh, Honorable Omar uh, Jalo OJ were meeting there to plan something. Then uh, the Farafenye attack, that's uh, 98. And in Farafenye in 1998. Uh, and uh, the capture, torture, and torture of Balo Kante, Omar Juf, Damfa, and uh, Drame. And uh, Mudarola Menar Nake Woto, Walam Farafenabu in Kanaldi, Narana Mudaroke, Balo Kante, Omar Juf, Damfa, and in uh, Drame, Kontongi. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll get the full name later. Uh, you were also <coughs> incriminated in the torture of Ibrahim Abaro. Anu hani kabi fanang tu mirola teka unko ida bulata tajireya la mengketa Ibrahim Abarola. And that I believe is in connection with the alleged coup d'état involving Dumosa and others. Anu wonji kita wala o besujiri ni mena walem boingkama mialongo Dumosa o tofara kono. Uh, we would also want you to talk about the human rights violations uh, that you know about that happened at the NIA or in the hands of NIA officials. And we would also want you to talk about the human rights violations that happened at the NIA or in the hands of the NIA officials. And we would also want you to talk about the human rights violations that happened at the NIA. Uh, and on this particular one, we do not have you adversely mentioned, but we would want you to assist the Commission and provide information that you have. understand? Yes. Ah. Would you kindly draw the microphone closer to you so that you don't have to be moving up and down when you answer questions? 
Feel free, be Thank comfortable. You. Thank uh, you. Just set it up in a way that would be most convenient yeah. for you. Well, I think it's okay this way. All right. Oh. Thank you very much. No Are okay. you ready to proceed? Yes, Kindly tell us your full names, please. Um, my name is Salmina Drami. I was born in um, Jara Kadekunda in 1958. And I went to Pakalindim Primary School. In 1966. 1966. Yeah, but at the time I was almost over age. That was normal. Yeah. So um, I went to Pakalindim Primary School in 1966. I was taken to uh, primary five. Kabona primary one two three yeah. in ata nsaundi kansamba primary five uh, to attempt um, an examination called uh, uh, common entrance. Eh, Purunyin kamala nsi londi kotoboke eh, me alonko mu londi londi konti boleti ikafume common en, common entrance. Yeah, but unfor unfortunately, I I didn't pass. I the the, the pass mark was two hundred and. 60 at the time. And, uh, I had two hundred and fifty-eight, just two marks. Then in nineteen um, nineteen seventy-two I repeated uh, the common entrance again. Nineteen seventy two Sankono na common entrance Lundi Kontibo Sainkan. I passed my exams. Um, I was supposed to go to St. Augustine's High School. When I was called for an interview, um, that was uh, Father Clary when he was there at the time. But then um, he was skeptical about my age because of my height. And they gave me a letter for Dentist Carol at the RVH. Then after a test, my results were enveloped. And I took the envelope to him. After opening it, um, he said, you are over age. Above 13 years of age, you cannot have an entry here. That is the time I returned home. Um, my uncle was uh, the minister of local government at the time. Name, Honorable uh, Al Haji Ayasise. Honorable Al Haji Ayasise. Then uh, he travelled at that time. But he was not at home at that time. But his permanent parliamentary secretary at the time. But what time was the parliamentary secretary? Was one Mr. Kwet Cham. Kafume Mr. Kwet Cham. Then I went to Mr. Cham, Honorable Cham. That Honorable Cham, yeah. Uh, he gave me a letter for Amitage High School. I later wrote in a prunata Amitage Karambumbato. And I went to Amitage High School. That Amitage Karambumoto. Mr. 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 Freddie Blaine. Mr. Blaine was there at the time as principal. But um, Mr. Blaine long suit your DJ. But when I when I explained myself to him, bring him from why? He said, "Well, I'm I am I'm just winding up because um, a white man is coming here, Mr. Hedul." So but you can stay around. I can give you a chance to go to classes. Until uh, Mr. Hedul comes, then you he will finalize things with you. So I, I, I have my uh, people at uh, Amitage there. Uh, who, those are from our home. 
so you know this uh, amateur school the dormitories are single single beds amateur school karam bungul karam to talibolu be jiarin damen no toyla dormitory kono mo kili larangol le bije the two of them had to talk their beds mo fula soton tay la larangol nakindi nyobala so i was sleeping with them so no mo le kala lara sound as kunda I remember Tamba Sanyang was the alcalo of Saunders. Yeah, barely I was going to classes. But barely after three months, Mr. Hedul came. Well, I went to his office. And uh, the matter was explained to him. And uh, he said, well, the classes, I don't want to... Um, over crowd the classes, classes. So I think, uh, Mr. Dami, I'm sorry, I cannot admit you. Ko amala fi classroom ole fa kalan natambi. Ana rafu nyabari bitu ise haketu nte tano la jang. So I returned. Muruta. How old were you at the time? Sanji obe Sanji jalu. Well, at the time, according to the dentist report, I was 17 years, four months. Go dentist Karol Lakibaro ayi yeah. tan di nyamin mbesanji tang anin worowula anin karnani I'm above the entry age by 4 4 years bitu wayatara ntambita dun songola sanji nani um, yeah so I, I I went to Masa Konko Junior Secondary School Dada Masa Konko Junior Secondary Krambuto for a period of time what ikaje but I I feel that uh, that the school is just newly built and uh, there is no much learning. I had to come to Banjul to Kraveland uh, Secondary School. I was two months ago, I was going to go to Karambun Kutolo, and I was going to go to Karambun Siyaji. I was going to go to Karambun Siyaji, and I was going to go to Kraveland School. I was in Kraveland, uh, Kraveland School. Kraveland Karambun Kutolo. Later, the, the, uh, the school was upgraded. I was going to Karambun in Namakamola Fa. A senior secondary school. When Kama Ulabaji was there as principal. So that's where I completed my school career. And then uh, it's the same year, 1977. In September, I remember. September, I was employed by the Department of Water Resources. Department of Water Resources. Yeah, before that, I was um, temporarily working with the uh, Soviet Department, Ganybaji, uh, at the uh, Soviet Department Public Works. And then Ganybaji. I was a chain man at the time. We surveyed um, Brikama College. After completion, uh, that is the time I joined the Water Resources Department. When Malik John was there as director. Uh, you, you have worked in several places. Uh, in 1992, 1992 sorry, 1989, 1989 you resigned from uh, MET, right? Yes. And then you joined the NSS. Yes. Yes. Kind of take it from there. We have to gain time, though. We have okay. to make it quick. Yeah, 89, 89, I joined the NSS when I was the station, uh, hydromet station officer in Kuntauru Wasu. During the NSS, Sangola, 1989, So when I had this um, announcement of um, vacancies, Office of the President. May I the President of the Then I applied. Uh, at this time, you had already secured yeah. uh, a Class 4 certificate in metrology. In Tembena, ye a diploma in metrology. Yeah, which is, which, is, which is equivalent to a diploma. May I alonko a diploma le makamu kanyanta? Yes, and I also specialize in aviation metrology.
ndu ngama kamo soto fanang wo eh, meteorology wala mkulu kenya ati eh, menketa alhawako nudu kwa kenya because i worked with the control tower for almost 13 years katu nin control tower yudu kwa ke membita lahani for sanji tang anin saba yundum international airport yundum international kulunti la jiru lato yeah. let's proceed and in 1989 you joined the nia 1989 sangu inata ni double nia 1990. Sorry, NSS, I mean. NSS. NSS, NSS, NSS yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, I had my basic training course after my basic training course. Ito nga dunda nkarangoke, ni dunda doko laike, karandi doko la nyame ngaoke, fungambandi? I was posted to Joytown as liaison officer, office of the president. Ntata watumole ya nsamba janjambure wala Joytown, ntela kata mwoti mea alonka atelo mkulu chokilati president wala office wala karoda. Then in 1991, I was uh, redeployed back to headquarters. In 1991, I was redeployed back to headquarters. And then in uh, 92, I was posted or attached to the plain clothes unit as a personal bodyguard to the President of the Republic. In the Samba Palace moment, Yembula mulu kono menu buka uniform dung, but in tell them mulu ti many a long contact like a president of Kanta. But before that, I was sent for a course. Ari janinga odati yenki purungata alondi karangola. That is a VIP training course. Omo VIP training karangola, omo VIP londi karangola. And then later attached to the president. Do we call alom inata na do ko sound the purungata president of Kanta lati. Proceed, please. And then? Yeah. Um, I was with the president until uh, 1994. Mbe president for 1994, Until uh, on the 22nd of July. And for July, Karotil Muan Nimfulo. When this, uh, on to, to, sorry, 20, uh, yes, 22nd, when the, when the, when the could it, uh, you know, took place. And for uh, July Karotil Muan Nimflo, 1994, Utumolem Kudeta Nyinketa. So uh, I was at home. Best work or no? The president arrived uh, at the airport. I was there. President Unata, Kabunan Tamadula, Kulunti Lajidulato, and Bije Birafutanang. We received him. Na Abentung. I was one of those. I was one of those after the president. During, during the guard of honor. But um, before that, you know, it was an open secret to everybody that uh, uh, there is a planned coup. And I saw, and I saw the Lieutenant Yaya Jami on the ground at the Tamal at the time. Na Yaya Lieutenant Yaya Jami je kulunti la jirula to je tero to je. Really, we were all prepared for him. Tembo yata ra alaya ke mbebe paring akama. But did you know it was going to be him? Lead Council, I think this rumor has been going on more than a month when Sadawda was on leave in UK and uh, this intelligence report was transmitted to him and then he said he's coming back. Namira, Lead Council, Nyin Mwela Mwekumo. A janjan telehan fo a karosi. Parbitung wato nyin na president o sadauda be lifo la United Kingdom Banko kang yo adung yo kibaro fo ati fango yenne. But biru yo afaye a nyin fo ko ha nte be sayla nane. The question is not that there was a rumor or not. The question is whether you are prepared for Yaya Jami with the full knowledge that it was going to be him yeah, who's yeah. going to take over. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We were preparing for those planners. At this stage, you did, did you or did you not know who was going to be the leader? You were going to be the leader. No, I didn't know actually. Could you proceed, please? Yeah, so after receiving the president, he left for the state house. state house. Nothing happened on the ground at the tunnel there. But we are still on the standby. So after the president was housed at the state house, some of us went home. And then some plain clothed officers were left on the ground. With some of our physical guards. And they were there for a while. In the morning, the presidential guards, we have a coaster. Those, those living in the greater Banjul area. The coaster picks them to walk. So while I was waiting for that coaster, uh, the compound I was um, renting in, the former mayor of KMC, um, Honorable Keba Jalo, the sister came to my house and said to me in Mandinka, the uh, president of the country, he said to me in Mandinka, they are going to topple your president and you are lying down here. I was just lying on my city waiting for the vehicle because when they come by the gate, you know, they, they will hoot and I come out. Because the coaster didn't So when she delivered that message to me, it was on a Friday. I have this uh, allergy. I had to undress. I took my uh, jean and a shirt. I was having my personal weapon. That is a map pistol. Mark pistol Yeah, with eight rounds. So I just went out. I was jogging. To the market, Serakunda market. You know, the, 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 the area was so, you know, uh, people were running for their lives. They said, Kudeta, Kudeta. So then I, I just still continue to jog to Westfield. Westfield. There then I found uh, one of my assistants. Uh, he is called Ibrahim Adrame. I think he testified here. I told Ibrahim I must get to Banjul. He said, okay. Let's go. So we were jogging. Up to Jimpex uh, Johnson, the main Johnson there. By the time we arrived at the Johnson, uh, Basadi Jawara's son called Ismaila Jawara. Basadi Jawara Dima Ikafume Ismaila Jawara. He was driving a BMW at the time. So I begged him a lift. I said, I said take me to Banjul. I must go to Banjul. 
He said, no, the soldiers are coming, the soldiers are coming. He said, please, take me to Banjo. He agreed. I entered, Ibrahim also entered. While we were driving, um, around Kamalo area, Kamalo Mafangola. They are so-called ambus. <coughs> we found soldiers, many of them there. Uh, almost about uh, 10 to 15 meters away from them. They all, they all shouted and said, stop, stop. So Ismaila was scared. He said, I told you this, Salmina. So I said, okay, stop, uh, let me come down. And he stopped. Alota. I, I went down. Jita. Ibrahim also came down. Ibrahim But while I was coming down, the soldiers say I must not come down. Let me go back. I said no. I will come down. Whatever may happen, let it happen. So, but uh, Ismaila turned. Ismaila. He left us there with Ibrahim. They started cooking their weapons. I said fire. I told them to fire. Ibrahim hold my back. Ibrahim pulling it and said, Don't kill yourself, please. Let's go, let's go back. I said, let them fire. I know nothing can happen there. Why? You see, I was prepared for them. You had the amulet. <laughs> Within that 18 yard box. What? Within the 18 yard box. Meter no turning sayo. No weapon will fire. But what if it fires out of the 18 yards box? Well, anything can happen. Then you can die. Die? Yeah. But I can can survive it. it. Okay. Let's, let's move on. Yeah. Uh, this from is there, Africa. There are lots of possibilities. From there, <laughs> We went back. Muruta. By the time we arrived at uh, Sting Corner. We moved at Sting Corner. So they let you we, proceed. They yeah, they let me, uh, Ibrahim said, insisted that I, we must go back. Salmina, don't kill yourself. We must go back. So Ibra I said, okay, let's go. Ibra we Ibrahim le balanta. Ko Salmina kane famfa nga muru nga muru nga muru. Nso nta muruta. I didn't proceed because of Ibrahim appealing. Let's go back. Let's go back. Don't kill yourself. So I said. I went back. Did the soldiers know that you were armed? I didn't put my arm because it was there. It was at my back here. So when we arrived at Sting Corner, Edward Singate was coming from Mile 7 Road. Um, I remember it's a 605 Piso, 605, he was driving a 605 Piso, I think. Um, 605 Piso, the Yeah, he was sitting at the back, they were driving him. Yeah, he fired, uh, he made an open fire twice. And said, go home. So he passed. To How do you know it was Edward Singer? You have to allow for the interpretation. Edward Proceed, please. So he passed. And we also continued to Radio Gambia. Radio Gambia. Few meters before Radio Gambia. On the whole, that coaster takes the plain clothes and the other soldiers to State House. Yara wa Costa menka sojarul aning menubuka uniform dun menke samba state house was seized by 
Samsidin Sar and uh, his men. Yara wa moto Samsidin Sar na la mwole moto nyi ndia kuya muta. What, were... what day are you talking about? The very day of the coup. Are you suggesting that Samsidin Sar participated in the coup? I was told he, he led the team to Radio Gambia because I didn't enter. I took a back way. Took a back way. Come. Come. Captain Dur was living somewhere around Radio Gambia. Captain Dur at the Sirin Dulaleto Radio Gambia Balaji. When I saw him, I went to Captain's house. That a Captain Olabungoto with Ibrahima. Ning Ibrahima. We found uh, Pachak there. Na Pachak Tarajele. Doctor Njai. Doctor Njai. And that's uh, 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 Sirin Bai. Ning Sirin Bai. Mbai. So I just spent a little time because they were also wondering who are these people? Um, even um, uh, Dr. Jai tried to call the CO in Yundum. But he couldn't go through. Who was, who was the CEO at that time? Jumala Munu CEO di Wawat Wala Jay. That is the officer commanding in Yundum Barracks at the time. He was trying to get him. Utumo wale officer commanding ti member Yundum Barracks. Abole abakata kampurka wale kumandi. So I, I, I was not, I was not comfortable. I was not comfortable in that place. So I told Ibrahim, let's go. Jembe dame nje dal akatang fe din kiralti me ya longko. Left at the Wuna J, Mong New Mountain, Akilo Mountain Kunje, Go Ibrahim Yangata. Then we proceeded to DG Director General, our Director General's resident in Kanifin. Jutumo Lententa, the Director General Swomen Kono Kanifin, Data J, to see what was happening there. Purun Salong Munebe carrying Wotofanan. Who was he? Yumala Wotin, Kebasi at the time. Kebasi Wotumo. What time did you arrive there? What did Yumala Mifura J, Montoro at the bus house, you mean? Mm hmm. Well, no, I, I, don't, I don't remember the time, but it could be around 12, after 12 to 1 or so. Yeah, yeah. So we were there. Mm -hmm. And we were waiting for him. Wondering. So, that's where I stayed. Um, I think Friday, Saturday. And Sunday. My family even didn't know where I was. It was Sunday evening when I went to the house. Because it was announced that people should report to work on Monday. Do you recall who made the announcement? Well, the, the Supreme Council. La Council Nyatonko, Supreme Council, Waleo Kangularoke. Yeah. yeah. So um, when I went to office, Rintata office, on arrival, I was arrested. Yamuta. I don't know for what. Malo Muna Yamuta did. So who arrested you? Yamala Yamuta. Well, these are, these are soldiers. Ilmus soldier or lady? Junior soldiers. Dinim Malam. These are junior officers, yes. Ah, you know, din soldier din din mal leti. These are junior officers. Ah, soldier all men la palaso be du mala. So I was at uh, detention. Yeah, muta yen sendi du la keling. Barely a week, I think. Na mera wa ay lokum fonsi lembe wa din krato. Where were you detained? Yes, in the mintola. The NIA there. NIA. So, when Sambaba was appointed. Riya Sambaba tombong. As director general of the NIA. Kake director general of the NIA. So they reported to him that we have some people at detention here. Ye njina faimko ngamodo lumuta le de nge sindi jang ibi jang. Yeah, who were against this revolution? Many alonko wolo balanta njia revolution wala le. I remember Samba called me in his office on it was on a Thursday I believe. It was on it. I think it's on a Thursday I believe. Yeah. 
ngakilo baka nsamba arami salungu ni mmanyina ayo nkumandiala ofiso kono when i went upstairs nseleta santo in fact he was coming in and then going to his office he called for me abina kana utumu kadunang abita kangala office utumole utumolo nga ente kumandi we went together upstairs na tata nyola le kasele santo by the time the oddly was opening this office door wato ala oddly wala mala kantar lalti bala bunda yele kan so he tapped my back here en konkon sanyoto and told me in mandenka ay nyum fo nyumani ka kamoto serif musole where is your wife from the serif clan so i said this at home nkaya be suoko no and he laughed ajeleta so we went in ndunta konoto and told me in mandenka ay nyum fo nam fo nyumani ka kamoto ko yalo ete mu sulu tole bela you know you have the name of a hyena so i think i have to get you out of this vicinity area nga mira mbete bondila nyi ma fo mu meo belela yebo jang i was sent to basse i believe yenki yo tumo len e ko yenki basele as a officer commanding you are you are up tumole yenke nyaton koti membe marala urr tundola i had five officers under me na mo lulu soto men fanal mudo ku lalti menu bento koto do you remember them yakilo e tolu mudala ba yes uh, modu haidara who pro, pro, um, testified here modu, haidara modu haidara men ya la sede ya ro ki jang haidara tatengi ibrahim makinte ibrahim makinte um sambujang 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 there are about five of them anyway molule msambujang sambujang to bi je sawa yo mo sawa yo le to fode but um, i don't i don't remember this other guys names yeah, you have a fantastic memory you are able mm. to remember incredible details even conversations on july 22nd 1994 proceed please and then, yeah so i was there Mm, with the military commissioner captain balde um we started our conductor tour of the of sensitization tour of the division do to molem nata nyo fa hamundi taman tama o damu ta purka futa tundo nyin na dinkira lu beto starting from where adamu ramindo Remember we started from up that is Fatoto area. Hakilo baka nga folona santo lale eh wolem Fatoto ma famoti. Yeah with the chief of Kantel Kunda at the time Modu Sanya. Utumo Modu Sanya non se foti Kantel Kunda na tele ya folo. Yeah we call him Ojuku. Nga fate yene Ojuku. Yeah he is late now. Bandale saying. Yeah. So just to tell him that. Ruka fae nko. just to tell him that the military soldier rule has taken over eh wol ye banko talede and these are soldiers with a difference and do nyil mu soldier rule ti men ya lon ko ki ko etel nim fatam fan sole nata you clearly remember that term being used during those days correct pardon i say you clearly remember that that phrase being used so those days soldiers with a difference yakilo yeah. yo mudala ko sojaro wo wato lay ka men fo yira sando men dole to mu sojaro le do yalon ko yira ko lu fatata le yeah yeah ha proceed and then so that's how we told the whole the same message that's how we told the division na tundo mu be be taman taman wala nyama nate o sanda kilimo bringa mbandi the former public works department in base there Utumo do kubunda membe baseje memu jamaa do kubunda te ka fadama that's where the military barracks is now say en sojaro la korda fango be wolato say the place was leased during sadawda's regime sadawda la man sakunda tay wato la ya lease was leased the place was leased to one sara huleman je utumo ya lease wolam nyinti ye je la maria di sara kule dole la one mr sumbundo in sabi kafa yam mr sumbundu abe sabi saate woleto so the commissioner gave me an instruction that uh, he uh, he has an instruction that uh, he should clear 
his uh, belongings from that premises. Bitumo tumo le commissioner ni njumfu njumko nsafu Mr Sumbundu ye asala fengu lube bondi wo dinkira toje asije bula. They will want to open a uh, military barracks there. Il a fait sojourner sans sang ou sojourner corda le lolaji. So I went to Mr Sumbundu. Dara Mr Sumbundu ya. I told him the message. La kibaro njumfai. He complied. Sonda. So he cleared his things there. Ala fengu lube bondi je. About before the military comes. I was given the authority also uh, as an issuing authority of passports. Uh, because that was a strategy uh, to win the confidence of the Sarahula community. For how yeah, long did you serve in in Basse? You what did you see? Do go to Basse? Tundo ka? I think four months. Karnani, no leki je. About that, because I was I was reported, and then they transferred me under 24 hours. Katu mbeoto ina tante la kuo for dinkira leto. Buri ante la kumo yingu wanyari drong yembondi je tilo mu me okono. Reported for what? That, that I'm, that I'm, 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 I'm still supporting the PPP. Because PPP le fasakang. Because uh, a newspaper was brought from Banjul. One of my staff. Na lokula lo kilimbije. Had this newspaper. In the midst of civilians. Civilians lo kono. Reading it. Abakarangang. Bulleting. Abitu maba aba be sewering. I found him there. I told him you are you should be neutral. These are civilians. Next time, don't do this. That doesn't go well with him. I was reported. They called, they, I remember they, they said they called Tatin Baji. Ngakilo ba kanko e Tatin Baji le kumandi. So this was, this was, this message was given to the juntas. They told Sambaba to transfer me on that 24 hours. Because um, really the Basse people um, never wanted me to go. There is one village called Sar, uh, Sarasofe. I remember the day I was leaving Basse. Banjul. Kana The whole village. Went on the highway. Stop my truck. Uh, when I was leaving the village, I was leaving the village. 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 I was I was the issuing, issuing authority of passport. I don't reject. After interview with... Uh, are, are you serious? You don't reject? I have, I have you, a committee. You think you are doing your job? I have a committee. Committee the chief. And then this uh, other chief in Kantel Kunda, these are my committee members. After the interview, I approve. When they are satisfied, I approve. That's how we were doing. We have an immigration officer attached to us. I remember one, one Mr. Mbuk called, uh, he was one time the director general, Mr. Mbuk. Hakilo bakang Mr. Mbuto anenaketa director general. Yeah, at one time he was, a, at, at the, that time he was a couple. He was working with me. Yeah. It's good. So you return to the NIA headquarters. Yeah. After four months. Yeah. You remain there. How long? I was there. Because still the Juntas want to be recognized. I was attached to another tax force. Um, to go to Radio Gambia. 
Brukata Radio Gambia. Um, to talk about the Senegambian Gambian history. Bruka Senegambia Tundola Tariko Sada. I remember a very well known griot called uh, Pasit Kamara in Banjul. Hakilobulata Jalitobo Rimbala, a Kafome Pasit Kamara, member in Banjul. And uh, Alaji Lalo Samate of Radio Gambia. And then Alaji Lalo Samate, member in Radio Gambia. Uh, Alaji Mansour Njai. And then Alaji Mansour Njai. We are the three. We are the four uh, in that tax force. What were you doing in the midst of those griots? This is an idea conceived by the juntas and they told uh, Sambaba and then Sambaba selected me. What was to be your role in that? Well, I, I, I just guide them because they know the history better. You guided them to tell the history of Senegambia. Yeah. Interesting. Proceed. So I, we were in that committee uh, until um, I think the first president who visited uh, uh, the revolution was Abdujouf. President Fulomenata Kumpaboro la revolution la time of Yangamira, President Abdujouf Lem. I never could have remembered that. Interesting. Proceed. Then, I say I never could have remembered that the first president to have visited was Abdujouf. Yeah. Ah. It was Abdujouf. Abdujouf Lem. We recognized them first in Africa here, in West Africa here. He was the first to visit here. Proceed. And then, yeah. From that visit. Yeah, the relationship was uh, growing from strength to strength. He didn't say Senegal. He the said the relationship. The relationship with Senegal, yeah. Yeah. Proceed. Yeah. Yeah. So, the um, from that committee, the committee I returned to office. Muruta office. I think I was working with Mr. Marena. Mr. Marena. Mr. Marena. Marena Juma. Marena. Did you also participate in negotiations between MFDC and Senegal? Yeah, when I was president. MFDC rebel and Senegal Yes, I served in many tax forces. When I was first secretary to the ambassador, and I, I was doubling as a security commander of the sub-region. And I was doubling as security commander of the sub-region. Because I was accredited to um, almost five countries. countries. Uh, Mauritania, Mauritania, Morocco, Morocco, Tunisia, Tunisia, and Algeria, Algeria. Uh, when when were you deployed as first secretary? What did you mean? Yes, I'm secretary followed. In 1996. 1996. Yeah, you know the Farafeni attack came mm -hmm. three Farafeni. days to my travel to take over my place. I was posted to Guinea-Bissau as a consular first. Three days before my travel to Bissau, this attack came. So it was a concern to the juntas. But the, because of the, the, the plan uh, coup d'etat was prepared in Senegal. All the way from Tamba, Tamba, Tamba to Sokon. And that's where they entered from Kerai. 
So it was a concern to the president. So he said, who is going to Dakar from the NIA? They told him Aliou Singate is going. One of the directors. He himself said, no, take Salmina to Dakar. That's what he told my authorities. So that's why they changed my, 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 my postings from Bissau to Dakar. How soon after the attack did you deploy to Dakar? I worked Dakar. When this attack came, I don't think I spent much time again in the Gambia. No, no. One week? One week. Maybe. Maybe. Two weeks? Maybe. Maybe one week or so. Ten days? Ten days? Ten days? You, Not much you, time anyway. You deployed on 1st of October. It had October Isn't it? Isn't it? The letter. letter on I received the letter on the 10th. Of October. October. No, yeah, October, I believe. October. Mr. Chair, perhaps you should take the coffee break and uh, we return by which time you would have certified the date of departure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll take a 30 minute and coffee break. But before doing that, Mr. Drame, yes, just sir. one point if you can clear that um, for me. Yes, you said you coffee. spent um, uh, 13 years in the airport um, control tower. The background that you had, what exactly were you doing in the airport control tower? I was a pilot Given your background, um, metrological aviation. Amunta alihawa kono kunya kuluntila latani na lanya je. I did my practicals at Muritala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. I, I did, I did uh, aerodrome control. Aerodrome control We don't have those facilities at our airport here. Basically, what we do. As meteorologists, we have a piece of information called a QAM. 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 That piece of information, there are elements that aircrafts need to land. Which is very important. Because the, Q, the QNH, that, that is the figure you give to the pilot, will set it into the plane. There is an altimeter, they call it. Altimeter. Altimeter. The altimeter will indicate. Altimeter nying abaitandila. The flight. Kuluntila nying above the runway. For, for easy landing. Pro asiji kuke kalo kuke. There is an element also. When we are on the approach to Yundim International Airport, that will give you the bearing of the runway. So you cannot miss the runway. 
Uh, fine, thank you. So you did have a technical background in uh, uh, aviation thing to be able to. I thought Tam, uh, you probably came from Crab Island and then straight into no, the no. control tower. I was even a co-pilot. <laughs> I was even a co-pilot when I was flying from Dakar with my French counterpart. We hired a flight. I was a co-pilot when we were coming to Banjul for a meeting. Very versatile background. We'll take a, a 30 minute break and come back at 12 noon. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.